Hi and welcome to another Kirby Maths video. This one is all about finding the median and quartiles from a stem and leaf diagram. So here we have a stem and leaf diagram and it has a key which is always essential and it tells us that if we have this bit is our stem and these bits here are our leaves and in this case the one and the seven and the six correspond to a length of 176 centimetres. Uh, this, for example, would be 200, zero, zero, 200 centimetres. This one, the one and the four and the eight, all put together would be 148. So that's how we read a stem and leaf diagram. And we're going to try and find the median and the upper quartile and the lower quartile from this diagram. So first of all, the median That is the value that lies in the middle of the data and why it is useful is because it doesn't have any bearing on the outliers. So the maximum and minimum values do not affect the median value. If you take a mean of a set of data and you add all the data up and divide by how many pieces there are, then that can be affected by very small numbers or very big numbers. Whereas if you put the data in order and it's the middle number, then that isn't affected by these large or small numbers. So that's why it's useful in statistics. So the middle number when in order, smallest to largest. And we have got here 21 items of data. And because it's the middle number, it's halfway through the data. So the way that we find the median is with a tiny little bit of algebra and we do a half times the number of data items plus one. And what that does is that helps us identify what is the median value. And so this will be kind of like the seventh or the eighth or the ninth value. So let's do this with our set of data here. We've got 21 items of data. And that means n is equal to 21. So a half of 21 plus 1, which is 22, because that is 11. So the 11th data item is the median. And we just count from the top until we get to our 11th value. Remember, we don't include these ones because these are the stems, so it's just these numbers. So we're looking for the 11th number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's this value here. Let me just circle that in green. So that corresponds to 176. So the median is equal to 176 centimeters that is the middle value now if we want to find out about the central 50 percent of the data again so that we're not affected by very large or very small values when we're considering the spread of the data then we're looking for the upper quartile and the lower quartile and i'm going to deal with these two separately so the lower quartile that is a quarter of the way into the data And we find that value, the lower quartile number, by using a similar formula to this, except instead of a half now, because we're going a quarter of the way into the um, data, we're going to put a quarter there. So that is going to be found, the lower quartile, by doing a quarter times n plus 1. So a quarter of 22 and a quarter of 22 is 5.5. So that's the 5.5th number. That means that we're going to look at what lies between the fifth value and the sixth value. So halfway between those two. So let's go back to our data. So we're looking for between the fifth and the sixth value. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
So these two numbers here are our fifth and our sixth value. So halfway in between 163 and 164 is 163.5. So that is our lower quartile value, 163.5. Centimeters. Okay. The upper quartile is three quarters of the way into the data. And similarly, we are going to use three quarters times n plus one. as our method of finding it, which would give us 3 quarters of 22, and that would be our 16.5 value, which actually means it's going to be between the 16th value and 17th value. So if we go back up to our stem and leaf diagram and count through till we get to our 16th and 17th value, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we are looking for the value in between these two. So halfway between 186 and 188, that value would be 187. So the upper quartile would be 187 centimetres. Right, so the key points from finding the median and the quartiles from a stem and leaf diagram. First of all, you need to know what your stem and leaf diagram is saying to you and look at the key and make sure you know what the numbers, um, how the numbers are being represented. And we need to know that we have got how many data items we've got. This is our n number. And to find the median, we use this formula. The median is half of the n plus 1 value. To find the lower quartile, because that's a quarter of the way into the data, the lower quartile is equal to a quarter times n plus 1, and find that value. And then the upper quartile review q in there is equal to three quarters times your n plus one value and that gives you the position of the number in the stem and leaf diagram so here the 11th value and then you have to go and find the 11th value it is not the number 11 so the median is not 11 it is the 11th value and you work through your stem and leaf diagram to find the 11th value just like on here the lower quartile is between the fifth value and the sixth value it is not 5.5 it is the number that lies between the fifth value and the sixth value and again on the upper quartile it is not 16.5 it is the value that lies between the 16th piece of data and the 17th piece of data. Okay, and that's how you find the median and quartiles from a stem and leaf diagram. Thank you for watching.